हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन आर प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव लर्न अबाउट स्पीड नाउ इट्स टाइम टू लर्न सम न्यू कंसेप्ट द न्यू कंसेप्ट इज एवरेज स्पीड द वेरी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन अराइजेस इन योर माइंड दैट वेयर टू यूज दिस कंसेप्ट आई विल गिव यू सम सिंपल एग्जांपल फ्रॉम द रियल लाइफ सिचुएशन थिंक व्हेन यू वेंट टू द मार्केट इन अ कार व्हेन देयर इज अ क्राउड इज क्राउड इन प्लेस देन यू कवर लेस डिस्टेंस when the road is clear clear and clean then you cover more distance it means the speed of your car is not constant so how to find the speed of this non uniform motion for this we we are having the concept that is average speed so what average speed is it is the total distance traveled by the total time taken fine now see what average speed is average speed of a body is the total distance traveled divided by the total time taken to cover this distance average speed is total distance traveled by total time taken the concept of average speed we can use for uniform motion as well as non uniform motion now it's time to solve the some numerical problems on average speed or how we can find how we can find the average speed of a uniform or a non uniform motion we are having the different methods to solve the numerical problems on average speed now we have to discuss the numericals based on average speed so the very first case is given to you if both distance and time are given to you then how to find the average speed so see here if i have considered the example if a body covers distance b1 in time t1 from a to b and from b to c it covers distance d2 in time t2 and it covers distance d3 in time t3 then how you find the average speed as you know average speed is what it is equals to total distance traveled divided by total time so how you will find total distance total distance is d1 plus d2 plus d3 divided by what will be the total time t1 plus t2 plus t3 so this is the average speed let us understand with an example for example here i am uh, i am changing the distances right distance and time i am considering the same case for example a person travels from a to b 30 kilometers he covers 30 kilometers in 2 hours fine from b to c he covers 50 kilometers again in 2 hours and in next 1 hour he covers 20 kilometer here i am considering 20 kilometer so what will be the average speed of the person average speed of person is equals to that is total distance d1 plus d2 plus d3 divided by t1 plus t2 plus t3 here d3 is written so what is d1 here 30 plus d2 here 50 what is value of d3 that is 20 divided by what is t1 that is 2 hours what is t2 that is 2 hours and what is t3 that is 1 hour so this is in kilometer and this is in hour fine so what will value solve it it will be 100 kilometer divided by this is 5 hour so this is equals to 20 kilometer per hour so average speed is equal to 20 kilometer per hour now next case next case is when distance and speeds are given then how to find the average speed for example here distance from a to b is given d1 and speed v1 is given from a to b right now from b to c distance d2 is given and speed v2 is given from c to d distance d3 is given and speed v3 is given as you know the formula for average speed what is the formula for average speed you know that is equals to 
total distance tra uh, total distance traveled divided by total time total distance means d1 plus d2 plus d3 divided by t1 plus t2 plus t3 but here t1 t2 t3 are not given it means we have to find t1 t2 and t3 in terms of speed how to find you know the formula for speed is speed is equals to what distance upon time that is d upon t v is equals to d upon t now for this first case for velocity v1 for velocity v1 distance is d1 consider this time t1 so from here t1 is equals to what d1 divided by v1 similarly for velocity v2 and distance d2 what will be the time t2 that will equal to d2 divided by v2 similarly what will be for v3 and d3 that is given what will be t3 that is equals to d3 divided by v3 now use these values t1 t2 and t3 here so average speed is equals to that is d1 plus d2 plus d3 divided by what is t1 that is d1 by v1 what is t2 that is d2 by v2 what is t3 that is d3 by v3 in this case in this way we will solve the pro numerical problems based on the problems where distance and speeds are given as you have learned that how to find the average speed if the distance and speeds are given to you now see in this example a car travels from a to b with a uniform speed of 30 km per hour and returns from b to a with a uniform speed of 20 km per hour find the average speed right so assume a as your home and b as supermarket you are going from home to supermarket on a car when you go from home to supermarket means from a to b your speed is that is your speed v1 is 30 km per hour you are going from home to supermarket next we are returning from supermarket to home from b to a with a uniform speed of 20 km per hour here your speed is 20 km 20 km per hour by returning back so what is given to you you have given v1 is given to you that is from a to b that is 30 km per hour and v2 speed is given that is from supermarket to home that is b to a that is 20 km per hour now tell me one thing the distance between your home and supermarket while going and while returning changes obviously it doesn't change it it means distance between a and b and from b to a that will remain same so let us assume let distance between a and b is x right a to b let us assume a to b d1 it is equals to x and this is from a to b a to b is x b to a that will also remain d2 that will also remain x km fine as you know the formula for average speed what is the formula for average speed that we have discussed in case number 2 that is equals to total distance that is equal to total distance divided by total time it is equals to d1 plus d2 divided by t1 plus t2 now t1 and t2 are not given we have to find the values of t1 and t2 so what is t1 let us assume this equation number 1 t1 is equals to uh, we have learned 
Well, how we can find? Simply I can write again that D1 is equals to D1 upon T1. From here, what is T1? That is equals to D1 upon V1. D1 is X here. V1 is, what is V1? Value of V1. That is 30. Right? So, T2 is from V2. That is equals to D2 upon T2. T2 is equals to D2 upon V2. Distance upon speed. Distance is X. Or what is V2 here? V2 is 20 kilometer per, 20 kilometer per hour. Right? So here, uh, I am writing here the values for safe that T1 is equals to X upon 30 and T2 is equals to X upon 20. Now let us substitute these values in the formula for average speed. Right? So what is average speed here? I have written Again, I will write, so average speed is equal to D1 plus D2 divided by T1 plus T2. Value of D1 and D2, here I will write, value of D1 is X, value of D2 is also X kilometer. Substitute these values, D1 is X, D2 is also X, T1 is x upon 30 plus t2 is x upon 20. So, so solve it. Firstly, x plus x is 2x divided by take LCM of it. That is 60. This is 2x plus 3x. It is equals to 2x divided by 5x by 60. You know how to find these type of fractions. That is 2x divided by 5x. It will go in the numerator. That is 60. When you solve it, that is 5, 12, this is 12 into 2, that is 24. So what is the value of average speed here? That is 20 km per hour. Fine, here I will write average speed of car is equals to 24 km per hour. So this is the solution for the second case.